in our gospel passage. When Jesus heals Simon's mother-in-law, St. Mark tells us that Jesus grasped her hand. I've always been very, very aware of that emphasis. He does not say that Jesus took her by the hand. He says rather that Jesus approached, grasped her hand, and helped her up. I'm certain that she felt the power of his strength in that moment. I am sure that she felt his divine desire to bring an end to her every ill. He grasped her hand. He grasped her hand as one might grasp the hand of a child to pull them out of danger's way. It's quite different than simply taking someone by the hand. That is often a very gentle touch. But here we see an urgency and a strength that is the immediate response of Jesus. He reaches out to all those who come to him for healing. And not only to those who come to him, but to all who are in need. He says to Simon, let us go on to the nearby villages that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. Jesus wants us to come to him for the healing we need. He desires that we reach out to him. But it is very important to remember that it is he who comes to us first. Jesus always comes to meet us where we are and is with us to grasp our hand just as he grasped the hand of Simon's mother-in-law. No matter what our difficulty or trouble may be, whether it be of, of body, of mind, or of spirit, He's there to meet us where we are in all of our needs. Our prayer then should overflow with thanksgiving. I thank you, Lord. I thank you because I know that you are helping me. I thank you because I know that you are with me and that because you are with me, all will be well. There's nothing to fear. I need only to reach out to you, Lord, and I know that you will be there to grasp my hand. As we enter this new year, may our prayers be abundant with thanksgiving to God, who has come to meet us in Christ Jesus. And may we walk each day of this new year with him in faith, in hope, and with love. God bless you all.